This stream is proudly brought to you by whatiszs.com. ZS is coming after the coronavirus epidemic is over. Due to the coronavirus, ZS apologises for this delay. It must be done. We must prevent the spread of the disease in every possible way, shape and form. As a people, especially of the people of a planet, this has affected the planet globally and we need to act as a planet globally. Please listen to this video and take notice. We need to do what is said in this video. I will be replaying you what I put out in a stream as well, but I do have other things to say. We need to shut the world down. We really do. It, how we've got it going now, by July, oh, sorry, yep. Yeah. By July, um, don't worry, it was just a picture. By July, the, um, sorry, I oh, Sorry, I'm just trying to get the thing up. I thought I had just on uh, the pictures up already. But by July, this should should all be over because, see, what we're seeing here still isn't good enough. This is the problem. There is still... You saw how close those students were? This is the problem with kids. Unfortunately, kids are the form of easy spread. Look at how close these kids go in this video, right? Social contact, social isolation is n nothing to these guys. These are the reason for the speedy spread. But now they're getting sick. Look at how close these children are. And they are close. These children are very, very close. It's sort of, um, it's just gone a bit too far that we can just let this keep on going. Sorry. I wanted to show you something. I can't do it, this, this live thing. Hang on. Well, I've got a problem with her. One of Microsoft's so-called little back backyard programs. It's called Framehost. Well, first we had Com Surrogate. Now there's one called Framehost. It takes control. What it does, it takes control of your mouse and you can't move your mouse. It's a nightmare of a program, by the way. I'm just trying to find the image that I want everybody to see. Okay, there we go. And it's disappeared. So I'm just going to have to get it up. Oh, actually, I think... No, that's not it. Sorry. But um, if we don't shut the world down, folks, by July, 60% of the world's population is going to have the coronavirus 60 percent folks that means more than likely you could lose anywhere from 30 to 80 percent of your family because it could be 80 percent of your family and this is real and people need to realize that this is very fucking real i have never been more scared in my life of anything But I'm shit scared of this. And I mean, I'm shit scared of this, folks. I really, truly am. I have never seen anything. I've had stories of the Great Depression. I grew up with stories of the Great Depression when I was a youngster. That's all my nan used to talk about. She used to love talking about the Great Depression. And she, by the time I was going to school, I actually was fully versed into what, the Great Depression was. But if we don't do this, folks, we more than likely are going to die. See, a good example here, like the reason why I'm showing you these things, look at this. That is still too close. These people are still too close, especially at the new stage stations. Like, that's not six feet. So what? They can't have both in shot. They're risking their own lives. They are risking their own lives. 
because it only takes one of them to cough because the coronavirus is both airborne if coughed out it can land on a particle if there's particles in the air then it can float into your mouth right this is why but particles will generally drop and droplets will generally drop within 1.5 to 3 meters right a particle more than likely could go three meters close to it but see this is another problem see food vendors alone should be handling food like you go to a local supermarket every supermarket in australia every supermarket in the world should test their employees before they start especially the fresh food you should have one person per section because we've got to think in our store we've got four fruit counters every one of those fruit counters needs to have a person on it i'm actually going to ring Woolworths in a minute as soon as i get the phone number up and um it's sort of needs to be done folks this truly needs to be done i'm waiting for one type of image to show you and i've got a it's um it needs to be done. We must stop this virus in its tracks, folks. If we don't stop this virus, it's going to get worse. 60% of our family could die. 80% of our family could die. Sit down, Emerald. You're not getting online and you're not going to talk, okay? Not today. It's too important. We as a people, not of one country, we of the people of the world, and I'm sorry I have not been reading the chat, and get a Scotty. Scotty, you should be taking that video that I did about masks and how to educate your governments, because, um, yeah, it really works, Scott. We've already adapted that for our, um, for our college. Our teachers aren't using Uber Conference, my teachers are using um, Zoom. So there's, there's plenty of platforms out there, and I know MA and a few of the others, you've all got kids. So take that video to, um, no, okay, Gail, the lockdowns that they are doing at the moment are not working. They are not working. And that's the thing. We need something to actually work for this to happen and if we don't do it we're screwed we really truly will be screwed by it's estimated by the who the world health organization that by july yeah okay dawn yeah go to who please WHO is where the real information comes from. The CDC is where the real information comes from. I got mine. Um, oh, yeah, so, yeah, they're still teaching kids in school. Shit, that's bad. That's bad, Scott. Um, the, the kids, you should tell everybody that you know to take their kids out of school and force their teachers to start a program up similar to School of the Air in Australia. We're already doing it in schools now here, in colleges here. We're using the programs that we use for YouTube, for chats, for our shows. That's why the that's why streaming is a bit of a nightmare at the moment. I couldn't even stream yesterday. I've been looking for the best time to do a stream and bang, finally it happened. So um, I got on and I streamed. So, but the, the whole lot of the kids should be at home, Scott. Everybody should be at home. See, the problem is we're still having contact. That is the problem. We are still having contact. We are still going to the shopping centres. And I guarantee you, if you don't wipe down your groceries when you get home, you may as well just walked up and touch somebody with coronavirus. This is the problem. Gloves. Rubber gloves should be worn by every woman and man or child that is in that supermarket. Children shouldn't be taken to a supermarket during this crisis. Babies shouldn't be taken to a supermarket in this crisis. We need to actually 
Oh, okay, why is it bloody blocking that? Oh, okay, yeah, because this wall, <laughs> no worries. But we need to do this. Our Prime Minister is the most useless bloke I have ever seen in my life. You can tell when this dude lies. He gets little porky smiles. They come up, he comes up in the, it's his tell, it's his poker tell. He gets this little twitch that makes him smile because he knows he's fucking lying. No, Scott, it's real. Scott, my mum's dead. She's really dead, Scott. It's real. It's so fucking real. This is really real, Scott. It's not a hoax. This is real. This is very real. To those of you that don't believe that people are dying, my mum died a week ago. They won't let us have the body until tomorrow. We can't bury her until Wednesday. She died over a week ago. It's real. And if you don't believe that it is not this, no, mum didn't get a flu shot. It's not the flu shot. This is actually real. This is actually very real. This virus can live on a surface for 16 days. What, like, what if China was using this as a weapon, sending it out on the post deliberately, and infecting a few of theirs so they can say, oh, well, it just escaped. It's not 5G, for fuck's sake. Dallas, listen to me. Dallas, oh, Dios, Dios 777, fucking listen to me. It's not a hoax. It's not the flu shot. This is a real virus. This is a recurrence of the SARS. It's a mutation of the SARS virus. That's why it is. See, the SARS virus caused COVID, um, the COVID virus, right? That's what SARS is. This is a new version of that virus. It mutated. But how did it mutate? Did the Chinese mutate it? For some unknown reason, it's out there again, and it's worse, and it's killing more fucking people. My mother could be a victim of it. We don't know yet. We won't know until all this shit is over. This is fucking real. This is very fucking real. And if you're an idiot out there that thinks it's not fucking real, or a kid that thinks, oh, everybody's being silly, my mum is dead. So many others are dead. This is no time to hide shit from your children. These children need to realise that there are so many dead. And by July of this year, this epidemic could reach and infect 60% of the world's population. And there's still a chance. We don't know if it can reinfect yet. This is why we need to lock down the world. First, we need to find every single case. If we find and isolate every single case, we will be able to stop this one in its tracks. But unfortunately, there is a chance that it's still in somebody and it's mutated and it takes off again. But at least we know where the original one was. And if it starts again, we just lock down again. A lockdown is the only fucking way. Um, all right, Deos, it's not a fucking hoax. If you want to be fucking stupid, guess what I do to fuckwits like you? You This time you've caught me. I don't have a... I, uh, oh, no. Nah, but, no. Nah, where do we go? We're going to go to your channel. Uh, and while we're on your channel, we're not only going to fucking block you because I have a sneaking suspicion that you are government propaganda. You've got one fucking subscriber. You've got shit video uploads. Typical sign of a fucking government asshole. So uh, welcome to the world of... Um, yeah, get out of my channel. And welcome to the world of not being able to comment. And in about two seconds, you're going to be blocked. So, good fucking bye. Yep.
That's what happens to fucking trolls on my channel, by the way. They get fucking kicked out. And those people hunt, is killing hundreds, try fucking thousands. It's estimated with, by, I think they said by the 13th of next month, it'll be in the millions. It will be in the millions. Yeah, we need hydrogen peroxide, we need everything. But what we need is we need the governments to act and get the ventilators in full production. Every single country in the world has got different companies that make their ventilators. We need to give those companies so much business now and they need to set up their factories, even if they have to put them in different buildings, people in different buildings say, you put that together, you put that together, everything's wiped down before it goes out. Everybody's wearing gloves, like the precautions on it are going to have to be so fucking tough. But we need more ventilators and we need them now. This is, this is worse than the polio epidemic. And back then, with the technology they had back then, they were able to build iron lungs. We need to build ventilators right now. I'm talking to every fucking world leader. Listen to me, I know what the fuck I'm talking about because I've taken lessons from history as well. Build those ventilators, build them now. Get them built, get them to the fucking people. Thanks, I appreciate it. But it's real, guys. We, as I said, we still don't know if her mum was taken by the virus. We don't know, but they are treating her body as if she was. So we're pretty sure that's what took mum. See, we know there's rumours going around. Oh, hang on. Let's put this... We're going to play this because this is a broadcast. We're allowed to play this sort of stuff. Controlling the spread of this virus. Uh, I'm pleased to say that New South Wales will be acting quickly to enforce... Uh, gatherings outside or inside should not be more than two people um, family and that is something that we will enforce but I also want to remind everybody that you shouldn't really be leaving home unless it's for work, for school, for essential things to, that you need to buy or else if you need to seek medical attention or exercise. They're really the only reasons you should be leaving your home. If you can work from home, you should. If you can learn from home, you should. Uh, if you can do everything from home, you should. It's only in these very exceptional circumstances that you should be leaving home. Uh, I'm pleased to say that the community has responded quite favourably in the last few days. We've seen a marked difference in people's behaviour, but still there are pockets of people not doing the right thing. Please, please take the advice we've provided. It's based on health advice. It's not things that anybody has made up. This is based on health advice. The experts who meet daily give us advice on what is the best way to control the spread. In New South Wales, uh, has now measures in place and I want to thank the Commissioner for Police for making sure that anybody who gets off a plane from overseas is in quarantine. We appreciate that's frustrating for people but it's to protect the broader community because we know that the vast majority of cases in New South Wales are, have been acquired from people who've either been overseas or are a direct contact to someone who's been overseas. I also want to say to the people of New South Wales, there isn't anybody anywhere else in the world I'd rather be than in Australia at the moment. Uh, we are doing, doing our best to make sure we control the spread and we keep people out of hospital. But especially to our older Australians, to our older people, if you're over 70, you shouldn't be leaving home at all. I know this is difficult uh, and I appreciate that for some parts of the day people might want to get out and exercise, that's okay so long as you don't come into contact with anybody else. We know this disease, this virus is particularly, particularly uh, has a horrible impact on those who are older and vulnerable and it's really time for us to protect those most vulnerable in our community. And can I stress, please uh, take care of each other but also make sure uh, people over 70 are not leaving their home and make sure they've got support. And if anybody feels isolated or needs things and can't, doesn't have anybody to help them, please ring our 24 hour number in New South Wales, 13 77 88. We'll make sure you get that support and that assistance. Uh, I know that we will all come together and adjust to these changes. I know that people are doing their best from my own community, from people in, in and around me. I know that people are all doing their best to adjust to these new circumstances. And I want to thank everybody for that. We're going to get through this. 
We are, we're at, we are in a position now which allows us to control the spread as much as possible. And I want to echo the words the Prime Minister made a few days ago. Uh, we are Australian. Every system in Australia, every state in Australia is different to what's happening overseas. We do look to overseas for examples of what's gone on. We do take evidence from what's gone on overseas. But please know that what we're doing here in New South Wales is based on our best advice. It's based on health advice. And we're doing everything we can to reduce the spread and keep people safe and make sure that people get these warnings. And I also want to thank everybody's patience because I appreciate it's been a lot to absorb the last few weeks. It's been a lot, lot to absorb the last few days. But I'm confident that once people have absorbed the new changes we've made, and in New South Wales, in relation to public gatherings, in relation to reasons why you should leave the house, that comes into effect from midnight. But of course, we want everybody to practise that from today. But enforcement of it starts from midnight. But of course, we want everyone to practise that during the day. But I know that once everybody has absorbed these changes, once everyone has worked out what works for them, we'll all adjust. We'll all adjust. And uh, we'll all think of innovative ways to get through this as best we can. And I'm still optimistic about our capacity to, to adjust, our capacity to support one another. And uh, who would have known that a phone call or a text message can have so much more significance today than it used to before? And those little things matter. Uh, those little touches matter and I know that once we bed down what we've uh, announced in the last few days that the community will feel a bit better about moving forward, a bit better about what the future looks like over the next few months. And uh, I want all of us to get used to these changes. It's for our own good and especially can I give a message to people in their 20s and 30s. Uh, you are not immune from this and even if you are, you risk spreading it to people you love or spreading it to people in the community who are vulnerable and will lose their life because of this. So please think about others. And I do, do use that age group in particular because we know we're seeing an increase in the stats in that age group, but also the worst offenders in terms of not sticking to the rules are those people in those age groups. And I know apologies to those of you doing the right thing, but in particular, I need to get out the message that you can't just socialise as you used to. That's not allowed anymore. All of us have to adjust. All of us have to play our part. And hopefully all of us will look back on this period as a, as a time of difficult times, but also a time when all of us came together, stuck together, and did the right thing by each other. I'll now ask uh, Dr Chant to give her daily update, Commissioner Fuller to give an update on what he's doing to support efforts in the community for people to stick to the rules, and then I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you, Premier. So I'm reporting that we've had 127 cases reported since 8pm uh, on the 27th of March. In comparison, we had on Sunday announced 174 cases, on Saturday 212. So whilst it is pleasing we've seen a stabilisation in case um, numbers, it's important to know that they can vary and jump around day to day based on testing numbers. And so uh, whilst pleased, we need to be cautious and is the long-term trend in that data that's going to be important. In terms of the proportion, we've got 1,185 overseas acquired, 376 which are locally acquired as a contact of a confirmed case or part of a known cluster. We've got 228 locally acquired that are not epidemiologically linked or a part of a cluster and that is the group that represents the community transmission and which we'll be keeping a close eye on and we've got 129 cases under investigation. We currently have had eight deaths and we have 26 cases in our intensive care units and of those 26, 13 have required ventilators. Thank you, Premier. Thanks, Premier. Thanks, Dr Chant. Uh, yesterday uh, at Sydney International Airport, we received 1,400 passengers returning from overseas and they were processed by Australian Border Force and everyone was seen by a New South Wales health professional. Of that group, 40 remain in a deeper isolation through concerns in relation to possibly having the virus. No one is critically ill. They have all been transported safely with the assistance of Australian Federal Police and Australian Defence Force into hotels across Sydney and remain safe but secure uh, for the next 13 days. Can I say today we will see around 1,200 Australians returning to the airport and they will be processed in the same way. 
with the highest level of care, but at the end of the day protecting the individuals but protecting the other 7.5 million people in New South Wales. From a day-to-day -day crime perspective, crime is still down or stable. We're not seeing an increase in any crimes at the moment. Police are still responding to calls for service. We're out there to help you. We know there are some new laws that will come in line tonight in relation to two people being out together. That's sensible. We don't want to have to enforce these laws. We want to work with you. So we would just ask the public to read up on the new laws and be sure the police will be out there. Can I say the Crime Stoppers reports continue to grow because the community's dissatisfaction on how some people are embracing this emergency. So New South Wales is still open for business. The police are still out there protecting you. There are sensible escalations in terms of this and tonight we will see some additional powers turned on. And this is all about the protection of the people of New South Wales, and it's also about protecting the economy. Thank you. New South Wales Police Commissioner there before him, the state's chief health officer, and of course, New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian. The news there, 127 new cases reported in New South Wales, and Kerry Chant, the medical officer, went through the figures, the lowest, Lisa, mm. at least the last two or three days. Mm. So, uh, small sign of hope there. Mm. Uh, let's get more on the uh, national situation and uh, Noor Hader at Parliament House. She joins us now. Noor, good morning. So we have these new social distancing rules firmly in place now. Take us through practically how they apply to all Australians. Well, good morning, Michael. We did hear yesterday that the National Cabinet agreed to put in place these tough new measures, uh, limiting public gatherings, indoor and outdoor, to a maximum of two people. Now, that was previously ten people, but they've tied in that rule to suppress the spread of the coronavirus. Now, the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, says that this rule will not apply to people who live within the same household. So if you're a family of five or if you live with housemates, you can still go out for a walk as, as a group together. Together, but that will then be uh that limit will be imposed on two people who do not live together. Now, it doesn't apply in the context of weddings or funerals as well, so the pre-existing caps on weddings of five people and the pre-existing cap of ten people at funerals remains in place. Now, the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, did say that states and ter territories will be enforcing this rule, and we have just heard from the Premier, Gladys Berejiklian, in New South Wales, saying that New South Wales will begin enforcing that two-person limit as of midnight tonight. Now, in addition to that rule, the Prime Minister is now urging all Australians not to go outside, not to leave their house unless they are going to purchase essential supplies, unless they are seeking medical care or unless they are going to work or going outside to exercise. There are also closures of public uh, playgrounds, skate parks and outside gyms that will come into effect today and all Australians aged over 70 are being told not to go outside as much as possible and for Indigenous Australians anyone aged over 50 is being told to stay home as well. The Prime Minister also announced uh, a temporary ban on residents, or sorry, renters being evicted by their landlords. This nor would come as great relief for so many anxious tenants out there. Well, absolutely. We know that tens of thousands of Australians have already lost their jobs. States and territories will now be moving to put a temporary six-month ban on evictions for people who can no longer afford their rent. Uh, details of this plan remain scarce, but the federal government is expected to announce further details in the coming days. But the Prime Minister essentially is urging tenants to sit down with their landlords and try and negotiate. He says banks should also be trying to help in these circumstances as well. Now, we know that the federal government is also working on a third round of economic stimulus, a third rescue. OK, I wanted you to hear that little bit there because it's actually uh, quite bad at what's going on in Australia and it needed to be out there. It's the news. We're allowed to put the news on the air. I've, that's the best thing about YouTube. Well, no, some, I couldn't care less if it was... Um, this video is um, demonetised. Uh, g'day everybody, I do apologise, I did want everybody to react and I did have to actually get something out there um, because that letter is actually quite genuine, as I said folks, this is the letter that is, as soon as I can get it up again, and I've lost it, uh, there we go, this letter is actually uh, really happening, yes Amy, it will happen in a moment, you will have to wait, she's on heat by the way guys. This is addressed to the uh, the press, 
and it's I've got a list of every single journalist in Australia got a list of every single journalist and um, it's going out there trust me it is going out there and I'm gonna make sure that it gets out there we have to shut this world down folks if we don't shut the world down we're gonna die it, we will die because of our own stupidity and I don't think one of you wants to die. I do not think anybody wants to die. We have to truly make this happen, folks. And it can't just be one country. It won't work. Because then that's where these waves will come from, from other countries. But if we shut down as one world for 40 days and 40 nights, yes, it sounds biblical. It sounds very biblical. Right? Apartments. Right, I've got to get that back on the screen. Sorry, I'm having a bit of navigational issues here. Apartment buildings right, are going to have to have guards every single floor. They're going to have to have people. They're going to have to... The military is going to have to have, be one, one, one guard every floor and change it. It's going to have to be a regular thing. We have to really lock down this world. And unfortunately, woe to those people. This is why... It's freaky because there's quotes in the Bible about shit like this. And it's like, woe to the people who live side by side. Yeah, they're, talk they're talking about apartments. But one thing we can't do, we can't go into next door neighbour's house. We can't run over to the neighbours and say, g'day mate, how you going? Have a beer with you? Yeah, don't worry about this shit. It's not really happening. It's fucking happening. My family could have been a victim from it already. We don't know. No one's told us. All we know is they're treating her as she is. I, it's going to... JH, it is going to need to be a police state for the only way for this to work. And I am the one pushing for this, folks. Remember that. Everybody knows how I feel about shit like this. But I'm the one pushing for it for a reason. I've sat down and looked at the figures. I've seen the growth rate of this virus. It's huge. It's massive. And it, I haven't yet put the link to Dr. Ung's video yet. Why I have not put it in there because I haven't had time. I am still Emerald. Go away. You're not going out. Yes, they're barking. Go away. Sorry, it's morning. This is the time she gets to go and have her little run around. It's her exercise yard period. She knows it, but she's getting put off because this is the first time I've been able to stream. But we need to shut the world down, folks. We have to shut it down. Every country. There can't be one country that doesn't do this. We're going to have to put warning signs out for all these isolated tribes. Do not come. Danger, danger. Put some symbol up saying death, death, death. So they know as well not to come any closer. We have to take some of the most monumental steps this world has ever seen. And I mean we have to take massive, major steps not the governments. If you noticed in the last video, I'm not calling for them to shut the world down. I'm calling for you to shut the world down. No, it's not, Chariot. Just look it up. You can see it on Vistas. It's not working at the moment. I'm not a different BB, trust me. Same BB. This is scary. This is starting to kill younger people. Starting to kill people my age. Starting to kill people your age. And those idiots out there like that, what's his name that I've already blocked and barred? The troll? He thinks it's not fucking real. He's going to be one of the dead ones, for sure. Because the people that don't listen to me are going to die. They're going to die. If this is fucking scary. I mean, you guys have seen what I look like. You know I'm a big, rough, tough asshole. I don't lie about that. 
I'm scared shitless. Me. Scared shitless of a little tiny fucking virus. Well, this little tiny virus can get in my lungs and fucking kill me. Now, I'm trying to find this dude's video. I'm going to put the link in the description of all the videos from the past, telling everybody to watch it. But it's just going to take me a few seconds to find it. But at the moment, like, that dude just upset me. Something fucking shocking. Go away, Emerald. You're not going outside. You will go outside when I'm ready. Now, go and sit down now. Oh, nothing worse than a horny dog. All they want to do is go out to the males. They're worse than women. But this guy, this Dr. Van Ung, uh, Chok Duk Chung Van Ung, he gives a full explanation of what it's doing to us. It's called RDS, Respiratory Distress Syndrome. Uh, yeah. Acute, sorry, Acute Respiratory Syndrome. RDS, look it up. That's what this virus causes. That is what is killing us. And I feel sorry for anybody that has the virus. And some people are only going to feel like they've only had a mild flu. But the problem is there's some of us out there that are just going to drop fucking dead. And I could be among one of them. That's why I thanked everybody in the video. I'm thanking you now too. If anything happens to me, you've been great. You're the best friends. This is scary for fuck's sake. You're hearing a rough, tough guy that has ridden bikes and done shit in his life that other people wouldn't dream of doing on the verge of tears. Because this is really happening. People are really fucking dying. You need to educate your children and you need to educate them with the real hard truth. This is like the depression when children were told the truth. We need to tell our children so that they make sure that they don't spread because unfortunately their contact habits, the way they contact each other, will spread the virus fast. That's, I believe, what has been causing the fast spread. I think some of those children may even get sick, the ones that spread it because they have no concept of social isolation. This thing will rip your lungs to pieces and fill them with water. You have to really, truly protect yourself. And in that video, I say that I am the Leonardo da Vinci and Einstein put together of this world. And I am, trust me, I'm a very fucking smart man. For God's sake, I designed an aircraft that will be able to leave and enter the atmosphere at five miles an hour. And it really will be able to do that, folks. And we, the people, have to turn around and do this if they don't. If they don't do this, we have to do it. And if we don't do it, we're going to die. We will really die. And I have to say it, folks. It is so fucking possible that you could be the next victim. And this is why you must turn around and start fucking acting. We have to act now. We have to act straight away. We have to act not next week, not six months, now. Now is the time that we must prepare to shut down the world. And I'm talking to the governments. Every person on this planet needs food. We need 40 days of food because if they are smart, they will go in 40 day lockdown with me. Because it's getting bad. And sorry, I'm emotional because I've already lost somebody. Do you want to be the next? This will devastate your family if you are the one. It will devastate you if your mum is the one. It will devastate you if it's your child. 
We have to start thinking for ourselves because our governments are not doing this and trust me, they are not. They are taking half ass measures. Just letting people go here and go there. But we need time. Yes, we still need time to do that. But they have to let us and they have to make sure the stores have enough food so that every man, woman and child can buy enough food for all their animals, for their children, for everybody in that household. You're going to have to supply every single tour tourist that is here. They are, they, well, you're already locking them down. They shouldn't be sent home, they should be kept here. We, need, we can't send tourists home to countries that don't have the virus yet. We've got the virus. Our borders should be 100% locked down. Those planes should not be flying. The only planes that should be flying are the ones the government has sequestered. The airlines won't be losing any money because if everything is shut down, no one is losing money. Money is not a thing now. Money should be shut down, full stop. When we, sh when we shut down the world, money means nothing for that period of time. And when we come out of the quarantine, everybody be put straight into one thing, oh sorry, two things, food production, bolstering the services, and disinfectants, three things, sorry, and disinfectant teams like they are doing in China. We are going to need to do the same all over the world. We are going to have to go through buildings and spray everything. We are going to have to take the biggest step this world has ever seen. And I'm telling you now, we as a people can do this. We don't fucking need those useless fucking assholes that spread propaganda and don't really give a shit and they have Mr. Policeman standing behind them. Yes, I believe we need the police. I have police in my family. I've got a lot of respect for the police. Always have and always will. Wasn't for a policeman, I might have turned out to be even worse than I was. I wasn't that bad, but I was still a tough asshole. And a copper kicked me up the ass and straightened me out. I think him to this day. Oh, uh, I can't think of his name. Really can't think of his name. I'll tell you one day when I think of it. He was a great, great dude. Very good dude. But the thing is, the government used them to control. That's wrong. We need that control now? Yes. More than ever. And they are going to need to be tougher. I do feel that the government uses our police to do things. But this time, we need those police to be doing it. We, the people, need them to m form a police state to stop the idiots going out and partying over in the neighbour's house. And governments, I'm seeing it happening. That's a, that's a total breach. That should be classified as a breach of the isolation rule. And it really should. We have to make these laws to protect ourselves. Yeah, well, the good, the bad and the ugly are going to be needed on this one, folks. And they are. That's response to JH's comment. The good, bad and the ugly are going to be needed on this. We're going to need everybody. Our militaries are going to have to isolate everybody, including all their men. But their men can still operate. They just operate in a different way. They operate at a minimum three, month, three metre distance from everybody. I reckon we should expand it to three metres just in case someone like me has got a good set of lungs and could spray it across the room. Trust me, I've done that. I also fart really bad too. You never want to hear me trumpet. You hear the trumpet, trust me, your eyes will burn. But all jokes aside, we still need our jokes, by the way. We really do, if now more than ever. Do you know there's comedians out there that are transmitting shows for free? I'm laughing my guts up. These guys are doing... Steve Hofstetter is one of the groups. There's, I think they're called the Social Isolation Club. Go and look them up. They're funny guys too. We still need comedians because while everybody is going through hard times and there's going to be a lot of, a lot of you that go through hard times and you want to know the worst scary part about it? 
I come from a family of over, I think we're up to 900, close to a thousand people in my family. This is talking about cousins and their kids. There's over, over a thousand, over, almost, you know, I, actually I think we are over a thousand already in, in my family. And if you add my mum's family into it, we are definitely over a thousand. I'm expecting, unfortunately, to have to hear about more deaths in our family. And I don't want to hear that. I really don't. Back years ago, my mother done a lot of things to teach us kids about these type of events. They taught us about the depression. They taught us how to prepare. Sit down now. You're not going out. She's getting a bit stir crazy. Unfortunately, she's on heat. I've got to, I've got to do it. But we can do this. But if we don't learn our lesson from the past, because there are good examples from the past, they didn't act during the Spanish flu. flu. They didn't act through a lot of these things. We now have learned lessons. So we need to enact those lessons. And one should be that, one, you shouldn't allow mail to operate during a pandemic. We need to shut that down now. And I'm talking to every country. And I'm talking to every one of you in this chat room right now. Get on the phone to your government today. And everybody is able to contact their government. You might talk to an underling, but tell them they need to shut down the mail. If they don't quarantine for mail for 20 days, you are at risk of catching the virus. If you get a package and you know that has come from China or you have drop shipped it from online, from some store online without knowing it's being drop shipped, trust me, they are coming from China and Italy still wants to export. Anything coming into your country should be quarantined for a 20 day period. If you don't quarantine it for a 20 day period, there is risk of the virus spreading. It is now known that the virus has been a viral sample has been taken off a surface 17 days still infectious 17 days it's getting worse we need to lock this down now before it mutates and makes it so that the virus can live for a month then we're all fucking dead we have to turn around and we have to shut this world down and I'm talking to the world fucking leaders. We need to shut the world down. You need to allow everybody to buy 40 days worth of food. And when you go on that shop, don't over shop, right? Just think about it. One can per person, four per day, get that much to start. It'll most probably only cost you about $35. So if you don't say you don't have much money, you can get 40 days worth of food for $35. You just have to spread it out and you have to buy the cheapest brand. That's how you do it. You buy the cheapest brand. And they have tons of that shit. You can spike it up with flavours. That's what I do. But then you learn, okay, maybe we don't need this three course meal whilst this is going on maybe we need to learn to eat out of a can you need to turn around but you need to just buy that extra couple of items because I don't think they're going to shut the world down for at least a month because they're too useless but if you see me going to lockdown the only reason I'm going to lockdown is because of the death rate has gone up there are graphs out there that clearly show. I'm looking for that now. Right. Uh, graph of growth of coronavirus death rate. Oh, uh, by the way, if you want to buy a, uh, buy a watchdog, I'm selling four. You got to be get them in Newcastle. That's them going off now. They're good. They're better than mum and dad. Seriously, mum and dad trained them. 
So if we don't shut the world down, folks, we are truly screwed. And I don't want to be screwed. It's sort of, I don't know, for some unknown reason, that didn't work. Growth rate of virus graph. The point of it is, folks, if we let this keep on going and we don't find the cases, we are screwed. We will be screwed. I'm sorry. There's no other word to say it. Here you go. I think I've actually found it. I think I've found the growth rate. It's growing exponentially. Total cases, is it on? Yeah. And this is what has happened. And it's going to grow. This is why I reckon you should need to go and see Dr. Uh, Chuk Vong, uh, Chuk Chong, Duk Chong Bung. Uh, his video. Um, he explains why the virus is killing, how the virus is killing us, I think is the video name. I'm still looking for that. Um, but this is the, um, go away, Emerald. You're not going out. I know you want to go and be with a boy, sweetie, but you can't. Okay. That's where the virus is going up now. That's March 28. By July, it's going to kill. It's going to take so many people. We don't know the exact figures. It's going to infect 60% of the people by July. If we keep on operating the way we are operating, we are the ones to shut down. And don't worry, if you are worried about your government up to shit, being up to shit, and they thought a lockdown, oh, the lockdown wasn't a good idea, but we shut down anyhow, and they think they can get away with everything and start doing things behind our back, well, they won't be able to because there's too many of us. They now have so many million eyes on them. So they won't be able to get away with anything. We'll be keeping an eye on them while they're keeping an eye on us. It works a two-way street. But if we... No, it's not Ruby. No, it's Emerald. Um, oh, yeah, she is too, by the way. Very. I don't know if you can hear the excitement in her. She just wants to get outside. She thinks she's going out, but she gets a shock every time she goes outside. They're all locked up. But the whole thing is, if we don't do this, folks, more are going to die. But if we do this, see, we don't know. If, what if this is part of, a part of Agenda 21? If you don't know what Agenda 21 is, go and look it up right now. You need to. This could be a part of Agenda 21. This is why they're not doing anything. So let's fuck them up. Let's lock down ourselves. If we lock down ourselves, all their plans go out the fucking window. We've locked ourselves down. I don't know where I got the idea to go and research the death death rates and everything on the virus. Might have been the fact that my mum died from it. I'm pretty sure that's how she died. Because of the simple fact that the way her body has been treated. We weren't able to have the funeral straight away like we should have been. That's why I'm 100% sure that's what killed my mum. They're not telling us. And they're going to do that to all of you. They're not going to tell you what really killed your mum. They're not going to really... They're going to have to start doing it. But the coronavirus, it just fills your lungs up. And the total cases of the coronavirus are getting worse, folks. It's going up. It is estimated that line will go up. And don't believe the shit that is coming out of China. Like the government's... And other doctors have said, it's shit, don't believe it. They're saying it's okay, it's not. They are, why do you think they are driving around in trucks with disinfectant? That's what we should be doing. But it's not going to work if they just do it themselves. We all have to do it at one go, in one movement, as one world. We have to act together. Fuck these useless government pricks. You've got to remember, we voted them in. We can take them out as well. And I think after this, we should remove them and place a new government in each government because they are not acting. I reckon we should do it every one of them. I really, truly think we should. 
but let's first stop this virus. Let's find it. The only way to find it is we've all got to be isolated. See, in a hospital, when someone is sick and they are expecting like they've got a case, that one person is isolated instantly. Then if a couple of other people get it, they isolate the whole area. Then if it spreads, they isolate it. But in hospitals, it generally doesn't move beyond the ward because if, once they isolate the ward, they've isolated everybody. No one goes in, no one goes out. They control it. This is what we need to do. We need to assist our medical professional. They are so overworked. Our medical professionals have tried to jump out windows. Seriously, they've tried to jump out windows. That's scary. They are so overworked. But we can help them by finding it, by lowering the curve. We can't lower the curve by these government restrictions. We have to enact the toughest restrictions this world has ever seen. And that we will be able to locate every single case. We will slow that curve so damn fast that doctors will be able to handle the load we can then control those infected houses. We can isolate the ones that aren't sick. We can isolate the ones that are sick. We can put them into stronger isolation until they are better or unfortunately have passed. But if we don't do this, we could lose all our doctors and all our nurses. What if they get sick? So we have to find this right fucking now. Not next week, not fucking tomorrow. Now, it's got to be done. We must do this now. Or we all could die. Because these government assholes don't give a fuck. We the people of the world, and I'm asking everybody out there, if you can speak a foreign language, can you please translate all my videos on the coronavirus? You don't have to do all the fanciness and all my anger. Just please translate the words. Do a see um, the um, yeah the credits down the bottom. Put them on in all the foreign languages if you can, please. Get this message out to all the world. We need to shut down our world. Our governments aren't acting fast enough. I don't want to lose another single family member. But I know that every one of you would be willing to do this to save your own family members. But the government has to ensure that we get the food. We need the food to survive. Yes, even me, because I'm still keeping my prepping food, because <clears throat> that prepping food is needed if this goes longer. If I'm one of the sick, if I wind up one of the sick, I'm going to need that prepping food. But the government has to ensure that we have all got food and ways to cook it for the, when, when people might be in a hotel. They're going to need ways to cook that food. We have to take steps. And we have to take steps now. The Australian federal government is the most useless government I have ever seen. You watch him when he talks. You watch all his latest videos. Or go back through them and watch the little smile smirk. That's when he's lying. That is called a poker tell. That's how people like me take all your money. Yes, I play poker too and I'm fucking very good at it too. Ask my mates. I've won quite a few competitions, man. I've got trophies. I can tell a poker tell a mile away. Scott Morrison has the biggest poker tell I've ever seen. Do you want to know something when Trump talked? I didn't see one poker tell come out of that, dude. He was telling the truth. He believed everything he was doing was the right thing. So don't go crooked, Donald. There wasn't a single... You watch him. There's not a single poker tell come out of Donald Trump. But uh, you, you watch Scott Morrison talk. Man, you watch, the, you watch his little porky lie. It's the biggest sin. He gets this little tiny smirk up in the corner of his smile. Every single time he's lying, we've got a plan. Smirk. 
We gotta this smirk. Even when he's serious or acting serious, smirk. He's telling lies. Scott Morrison is telling us lies. A poker tell and any poker player will, player will agree with me. Scott Morrison is telling lies. His poker tell is showing like a Christmas tree. And he won't be able to hide it. The problem when you've got a poker tell, you generally develop a new one pretty quick when you're trying to hide the other one. Because it's hiding the other one that tells us you're lying again. We already know when you tell the truth. People that play poker can work these things out. But we have to turn around and we have to do this ourselves, people. We can't wait for our governments any fucking more. I'm telling you to prepare for 40 days and 40 nights so that we can find the virus. We must find the virus. Our medical staff are at wit's ends. You should be seeing some of the videos that I see. It's scary. It's scary. It's very scary. Why don't you watch some of those videos to the non-believers? Go and watch some of those videos. You're going to get a shock to see a doctor trying to jump out of the window. Some of them are even locked down because they've gotten sick. Some of them have died. Emerald, go away, please. But if we don't lock down the world, folks, too many more are going to expire. And we don't have enough ventilators on it. And they're going to drown. Yes, drown. That's what pneumonia does to you. You drown from your own bodily fluids. And it kills you. You're dead. No coming back. No coming without a ventilator. You've got no chance. We don't have enough. And as I said, they're expecting 60% of the pop. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a. I have lost my voice. I've been lobbying governments. I have been lobbying world leaders. I've spoken to so many people. My voice is gone. And I'm doing my best. And I've done as many streams and videos as I can. I'm so sorry that those streams never got to you yesterday as streams. I do apologise, folks. I've had to wait for a good period of time to actually do the stream. I've tried every channel, same thing. I got through on my other channel, one, uh, I think on one of the streams. But it's, um, yeah, just not, not right. The governments aren't acting fast enough. And I'm sorry, we the people have to do it. All I'm asking for is enough time to make sure I have the supplies to last through it. <laughs> Especially, <clears throat> sorry, oh, well, my voice is almost gone. I'm going to have to call this quick soon. It's going to get to the stage where if we don't lock down, we're all dead. But if we leave it too long, we're going to be all dead. And it's going to happen. But see, you should be thinking about your garden. Forget about all these expensive items. Yes, because we've got a stimulus package that was promised to us earlier to help stimulate the economy. You should be spending that on your garden, getting a garden going, because if we get locked down, if it gets really bad and we have to stay in lockdown longer, we're going to need to garden. Yes, even apartments can garden. There are many ways. There are many ways. So you've just got to ask yourself, how are we going to survive? And if we don't act now, we may not fucking survive. I'm sick of these governments. Like they are out there. Ah, oh, well, zip, 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 zip. Their lips are fucking moving, but the shit is coming out in droves. Especially with Scott Morrison. Mr. Scott Morrison. If you make it through this crisis as Prime Minister, I guarantee you with every fibre of my being... I will see your removal from power. I will see you go down in history as the biggest idiot Prime Minister our country has ever seen. 
Because one good thing, one thing I'm good at is promotion. I'm very fucking good at it, Mr. Morrison. You've most probably realised that by now. And sir, I know you watch my videos because I've made sure you get enough of them and my content is good enough. And especially the, the fact that I've threatened to remove your government. You make sure you watch everything coming from me. And I'm glad that you do, sir. Because you don't deserve to be our Prime Minister. You do not deserve to do it. You are lying to us. We've got a plan. You don't have a fucking clue. You don't know what to fucking do. I have a plan, sir. So what? I'm an artist. I'm an inventor. But I've actually sat down and... <clears throat> I've actually sat down and looked at the fucking research. I've sat down and done the calculations. I've added a safety net. Yeah, like you, I had a safety net. I had it 10 days. It will work. We will find every case of the virus, providing the world does it as a global move. Everything going by ship has to be quarantined. Once ships get to near a port, they lock down outside of a port and they're quarantined. They go through the 40 days and for the 40 nights. They've most probably already gone through it, but if they've got the virus, they get quarantined. We should make them have put those old plague flags and 10 to 1 that is still on their ships because that's part of their flag system any ship that has the virus should fly, fly the flag so that people can see it and yes in a lockdown we're going to be in our homes we are going to need military walking our streets we are going to need the police to walk our streets we are going to need doctors and nurses working. But first, we've got to slow the rate down so they are not overloaded. We have to do this as a people, not as a country, as the human race. If we don't do this, our families could die. If we don't do this, the world itself could lose every being on it because this can spread to animals. It can mutate. Viruses mutate to survive. What is it, what, what is, what is it going to do when we're done? Well, it's going to go to the nearest thing that it can, our pets, because our pets are going to still want to be with their masters and the last person, so it's going to jump to the next species. And we already know that it can. See, we're going to have to quarantine our animals, including cats, especially cats that can live on fur for four hours. Four hours. So your cat is wondering, oh, our stray's back, our stray's back, and we're patting the stray. Don't pat fucking strays. This is a time when you must isolate from these types. Shoo the fucking thing off. Stray dogs, shoo them off. That person might not have been diagnosed but has already petted their dog just before they left. And now the dog's walking around because they don't give a shit about their dog. And it's got the virus on its fur. And bang, you've patted the dog. You've got the virus. Shoo the fucking thing away. We should not leave our front yards. We should have a three metre distance from our neighbours when talking to them. Over the fence, never close. Don't go passing shit over the fence. Stop going visiting your friends. You are spreading the virus. And don't say that it's not happening. I'm seeing it every fucking night. I know where everybody lives around here. And they're fucking moving from house to house. It shouldn't be fucking happening. It should be a total lockdown. And it's the only way it is going to work. We have to do this, folks. We really do. 40 days comes from the virus can live on a surface for 16 days. Well, maybe we should add one day. Well, that's where we got the 10 day buffer. It's been found viable at 17 days. So that 10 day buffer is starting to get used already. This is what I mean. We may have to extend it. That's why I said, don't go stupid with your food. Start rationing your food now. We had to do it in the war. Learn from the past. Learn from the past. 
We the people have to do this. And we the people have to report breaches. Yes, you may have to report one of your own family because that member of your family could be secretly carrying it while you've got it and don't know it. And is now ducked over to John's place and now John's got it and John's family's got it. Then John does the same thing, runs out and jumps over to someone else's place. Yes, it's going to be a police state. It's going to be a military state. It's going to have to be martial law. Bluebeard. <laughs> Calling for martial law. I'll be fucked. It's a scare. That scares me even more. That here I am saying we need martial law. Me. That scares me the most. That it's gotten to the stage where, stage where I'm calling for it. Because too many idiots are out there risking their lives and everybody else's. It has to be a lockdown there. If you're in the house with somebody, you've got to keep social distance even from your loved ones. You have to protect them. If you are looking after them, you take precautions What before you look after them. You scrub up. Put gloves on. You treat her like you're an intensive care nurse. Talking to you, Scott. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Rubber gloves always when you go near mum. Make sure they're surgical grade. Might cost you a bit more, mate, but... And this is what we should be doing without those of us that have their loved ones at home, i.e. their grandparents and their mothers. Kids, stay away from your granny. Stay away. Keep right away from gran. Right? Stay in your rooms. It's going to be tough, guys. It's going to be tough. Yes, we have a, we set up little things in the households. Everybody gets sits over here, not like in my family because we had so many kids. Like in this, this particular room, we had a couch there. We had a couch where my monitor is. We had a couch on the other side under the window, all the way up to the window. And it pretty much was just all couches. And that's it. And the TV used to be wedged where I got my fish tank. And there were lots of us. We can't have that at the moment. Big families, it's going to be very hard. If it, you're going to have to set up anybody... This isn't... Oh, OK, so you think, sorry. Put time, user in time out. So, um... This is not fear porn, dude. My mum's fucking dead. My mum is fucking dead. And you pretty much are an idiot. And oh, you're what we call rucker. You are an idiot, sir. Nothing more. You think you're big and you're tough. You think you go around doing this shit. You are one of the people that most probably will die, sir. Because you think this is all a fucking joke. Wait until one of your family die. It's going to devastate you. So, no, Raka. Raka. Have a look, it's in the Bible, guys. Means fool. Raka. Means fool. He's a fool. And the process is just blocking him. So he is now blocked. So, yes. Won't be able to comment in here again, sir. But those of us out there that are understanding this and seeing the truth, we're the ones preparing. We will survive. Preppers will definitely survive because we can lock down for six months or more. Some can lock down for more than a year because they've had the money to go and buy the really expensive dry food. I can lock down for six months because that's the shelf life of the foods that I've that I can buy. Nothing lasts really long these days unless you've got the money to pay for really good stuff. I've got a few foods that last for about a year. I've got some that are three years old. And I was actually leaving them and everything. I was going to throw them out and then this happened. No, I'm not going to throw them out. I'm just going to use them first. I still think they're pretty good. I've been shaking the packs. They're just pasta, 
those pasta dishes with that powder. They've been kept dry, they've been kept in the right temp. So, and the pasta's kept the stuff dry and the powder's kept the pasta dry. So, yeah, works out a decent little meal, actually. And they're not bad, even after three years. I've had two so far. But if we don't act as a people, folks, we could kill the world. We could kill the world. We have to do this. Spread the word that we need to do this. Please copy this video. Upload it to your own channels, please. It doesn't have to be my video they visit. It can be yours. Just copy the description. Put the description in there so all the links are in there. All right? Everybody has permission to copy this video. Only this video and the others with the permission on it. If we don't do this, folks, we could die. And we really, really... Yes, I'm in Newcastle, New South Wales. Yeah. And it's in our, it's in our area, Chariot. It's in our area. The Mater Hospital that I'm talking about is up in Waratah. And that lady didn't know where she caught the virus. That's why I said it's coming through the post, folks. If you've got items, don't buy online. By the way, if you buy online, you're a fucking idiot. It's coming from China. And don't listen to the shit that all things in China are better. It's not. It's worse. They haven't, still haven't locked down properly. This is why it's still spreading. It must be a total fucking lockdown to find and isolate the cases while they are allowing people to walk around. But the problem is they haven't allowed people to get food. So we have no choice. Either the government supply us with food and enough for the shutdown, we are forced to risk our lives. So those of you that were smart at the beginning of this and did rush out back then, don't waste the food. The time to act is not coming. The time to act is now. The time to tell the truth to your children is now. Too many people are dying. Too many people are already dead. If we don't stop this, we the people. But we, and yes, it will have to be martial law for this to work. And yes, some of our families may be amongst the military. Mine is. And police force. Mine is. They have to risk their own lives. Nursing staff, mine is. They're out there in the front lines. This is how I know how it's affecting medical staff. Because I've got family out there. I, I'm, I'm hearing about it. Let's just say I've been a shoulder to cry on for many years for a couple of people. And I'm hearing back. I've got doctor friends. Man, I've got one, one doctor friend. He was in tears. Just seeing how people aren't listening and it's the fact that you are not listening. It's the fact that you think this is a joke. It's not a joke. God, you've only got to see a picture of the hospitals and the queues. That's just to see if somebody has come back from overseas and get tested. But the growth of this virus is massive. This will be at pl plague precautions, proportions in deaths by July of this year. That is direct from CDC, WHO and all the doctors associated with it. The death rate will grow and will grow and it's going to go up. The, the, the line goes actually a bit straighter than that as it goes up. This is not the full graph. There's another graph out there. That's just how many cases there is now. I'm trying to find the graph of when it's going to go further. Because they do have one. Maybe it's on the, the actual um, WHO. It's massive, folks. It's massive. This is the biggest thing that has ever happened to the earth. This is the worst virus that I have ever seen in my life. The death rate is massive.
Right? These are in countries that have started doing minor things. But see, notice it's not actually dropping. It's not dropping. It's still going at high levels. It may have plateaued because they're taking minimal precaution, but people are still dying. People are still getting affected. And it's going to get worse. But the thing is, when you this is not from one of the official sites, this is someone else's, but when you go to the one, I can't, I don't know where it is, I really don't, I will find it. Might Actually, I think I might have found it. But it's going to go up. But gee, even if it only goes up one more death, we need to stop it. We can't wait for another one person to die. We, the people, have to act ourselves. And we can do it. For fuck's sake, do you know how easy it is? Don't go outside your front fucking door if you live in an apartment. Don't go out your front yard if you live in a house, if you live on a farm. Still feed your animals, still do your chores, but don't go off your own property. Quarantine. 100% lockdown. We are still going to need every farmer and every worker on those farms to keep on working. They are going to have to work harder right now. They are, at the moment, the most vital service, besides the doctors, that we have. So farmers have still got to work right throughout the crisis. But as long as they're isolated, they're in lockdown. As long as they stay on their property, as long as they stay away from their staff, they're in lockdown. Like, okay, the staff are going to have to communicate by different things. Mineral control. You might just be moving cattle. Or open the gates and let the cattle go into the next paddock. They will. When time comes and they need whatever food they need, they'll go into the next paddock. It's easy. But have less contact. Farms must lock down. Everybody must lock down. But during the 40 days, no one leaves their homes. No one leaves their farms. You set your farms up so that your animals are closer to the thing and not to the border lines. You make sure those animals are as close as you can to your fence so you can make sure that those animals are fed. You have to think about things like that. This is going to be a monumental occasion. Our grandchildren will talk about this day, these, these days. But if we don't, what they'll be talking about is how many, we will be talked about like the Spanish flu, how many people died. I would sooner prefer our grandchildren to talk about how our, their grandparents stopped the virus, stopped the virus in its place by capturing it, finding out where it was. And the only way to find it, folks, is every one of us must take part. Every one of us is now a scientific researcher to stop the virus. We are now the doctors to stop the virus. And to stop it, we have to stop in our yard. We can't go any further. Yes, we can still grow our food. Don't share that food because if you're infected, don't share that food. Make sure that you are tested to the max. If you're growing food that could be used after, don't touch your food. Because you can still water your food. You can do everything like that. I'm growing winter vegetables. It can be done. Everybody with a backyard needs to grow food because we're going to need it at the end. Make sure they're winter crops. You're going to be able to look after them during the quarantine. Make sure we have the food. Don't share that food until such time you have been 100% cleared of the virus. And you don't share it without government permission. You make sure the government takes it. You make sure that the when that food is ready, you make sure, and all of us that grow out outdoor food should be allowed to be shared. And if you've got indoor food, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's for you. But you're going to need the food during the quarantine. 
but you don't share it until after this is ended. Because after this is ended, that's when we're going to need it the most. But if we don't do it, folks, we will die. Listen to the doctors out there. Don't listen to the... Oh, God, the propaganda assholes. There's no other word for them. Because a lot of you are hearing the propaganda and believing it. You need to start doing research. Don't listen to the news, for fuck's sake. Do the research yourself. And you will find that this will work. 40 days and 40 nights of quarantine, lockdown, full lockdown, all over the globe, will find every known case. Every known case. Every known case. And if you're one of these fuckwits that don't believe it's real, I feel very sorry for you. I really do. Because you're a rucker, a fool, an idiot. You'll go down in history as, oh, well, he was a troll during the great lockdown. You'll be forever known as a fool if you think this is not real. And you will. Your family will. Th if you go around telling your family that this is not real, your family's going to call you a fool for the rest of your fucking life. And you will be known throughout history as a fool. Your great-grandchildren will know, unfortunately, our granddad was one of those fools that thought it wasn't real and he got killed by the virus that he said wasn't real. You'll be known as a rucker, a fool, an idiot, a moron. Can't think of any other word. I really can't. Doctors are not saying it won't kill people. Doctors are telling everybody it will kill people and you just got blocked. Martial law kills. You're a fucking idiot. You're a rucker, a fool. You are a rucker, a fool. And I believe I should actually even report you. Because, um, yeah... What you're saying, saying that this is not fucking real. Yeah, you're an idiot. And I am actually going to report, report you, dude. Where is it? Where do you say? Right. If you think this is not fucking real, well, you've been blocked. So I'm putting you in time out. So all your comments disappear and you can't comment anymore, but you're now blocked anyhow. So all your little comments just vanished. Guys, if you see an idiot like that on the channel, could you please block them? Could you please time them out? And keep on timing them out. I really would appreciate it. So he's, he's blocked now. That's what happens to you if you troll. You will get blocked. If you guys can't understand how bad this is, you're an idiot. You are a rucker, a fool. And to those that don't know what rucker is, rucker is what they called fools in the old days. Do you know, I believe this was foretold in the Bible. I believe this is one of the days that were foretold in the Bible. Because it says, as in the days of Noah, so shall be in the last days. It's actually what makes me believe that this will work. Because we've got to lock down for 40 days. Because it's the math that says 40 days not the Bible the math says 40 days but I'm also a Christian and then it clicks in my head that 40 days and 40 nights is what Noah had to be so in, so it shall be as in the days of Noah so to any Christian out there fuck get ready get ready because if we don't do this we're screwed because the virus will die, trust me, it will die. The time span of the virus, but if it doesn't die on that premises, right, you don't go out straight back to work and touch anything. Even though the virus would be dead after 40 days lockdown, we still have to spray everything to make sure it's dead. We have to take every precaution, every precaution. And we, the people, have to do it because our governments are not doing it. So we have to do it. We can do it. We don't need their fucking permission, for fuck's sake. But they need ours. They need ours to continue on. 
and they won't continue on, I guarantee you. I don't think the Liberal Party will ever get in government again after this fucking fiasco. And truly, if you're an Australian, watch Scott Morrison's face. Look at his tells. Every time he lies, he gets a little smirk on the side of his face. It's a smirk, it's not a smile. You can pick a smirk to a smile. Look how many times he lies in every single video. It's what is called a poker tell. And he's got the, he's got so many, it's beyond a joke. I can tell when he's telling the truth and I can tell when he's lying. All because of his tiny little porky smile. That's how you tell when someone's telling a porky, a lie. They've got to tell. You need to realise that this is very real, folks. And I know everybody on my channels, yes, you're putting up with coronavirus videos. Everybody should be making coronavirus videos to make sure that everybody stays in lockdown and gets ready for 40 days and 40 nights. We're going to need to do it to find every case. Doing what they're doing is a half assed measure because they are letting people still go around. But we have no choice because we have to go and get our food because they won't let us prepare. We can't lock down without food. And we can't lock down by having to go and get it all the time. The government must give us the food. And then we can lock down and we can find every case. And please translate this video into other languages, please. Make sure that other countries get to see the video on what we need to do. I'm trying my best to get it translated now. I've got a friend working on one or two translations. But he can't do everything. He only speaks a couple of languages. I can't contact my son. Actually, I could. He's in lockdown. Oh, yeah, I can get it in Indonesian and I can get it in another language. I'm going to get my son to translate. Oh, no, I don't know if he'll be allowed to. Um, but, yeah, might be, never know. But the problem is if we don't lock down the world, we're screwed. We can't wait on the government any longer. We have to start preparing and acting. It's going to get so bad soon that we will have no choice but not leave our homes. It's going to get so bad that we won't be even able to open our doors and we're going to have to disinfect in our doors after it's open because fuck there's going to be that one or two fuckwits if we don't lock down now they're going to start going around and being smart asses. they're going to touch everything they're going to need to be arrested immediately if they do that and um, no it won't get rough because everyone's in lockdown everyone will be in lockdown I'm talking to all the LA gangs, I'm talking to every mafioso, I'm talking to every criminal organisation. Lock down your fucking organisations for 40 fucking days or you're all going to die by this virus. The virus is your enemy now. Stop all this stupid fucking shit and start acting like fucking humans. You all need to act together. You all need to act like a people. You all need to act like the human fucking race. We have to lock down the world. It's the only way to find the virus. 40 days will find and isolate the virus. That's how you stop a virus, by isolation. And if all of us isolate at one time properly, we won't have the virus any fucking more. We will know where every case is. Every case can be dealt with medically. The curve that was going up is that's still going up will flatten very fast if we do a lockdown. But we the people have to do the lockdown. If you don't do the lockdown, trust me when I go out, right? Because I still have to go and get some groceries. I gotta go and get some meat. I'm waiting until it all all the rush starts. Like I could have been there at seven o'clock. But I need some meat at the moment, so I've got to go and get the meat. But trust me, when I go in there I wear gloves. I still haven't touched a single can that I bought a couple of days ago because I haven't had time to bloody wipe it down yet. I've actually got to go and buy some sanitizer today. I'm actually going to the bottler and I'm going to buy some scotch. Well, not scotch, um, what was it? No, it was gin. I think, no, vodka's the one that's got no smell. 
So I'm going to get some vodka, uh, mix that with the um, yeah the hydrogen peroxide, and um, put a bit of metho in it, and you've got sanitizer. But make sure you get the ingredients right. Don't overdo it because it's and remember it's extremely flammable. Add some water to. You've got to add water to curb that flammability. A drop of detergent or two to give it a very smooth, soapy feeling on your hands, and you've got a sanitizer. But the the problem is, we have to do this. We have to do this now. If we don't do it, we're all going to die. And I'm giving a message to the churches. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. 40 days, 40 nights, do it. Make sure the governments do it. You still have some power in there, Pope. Fucking act like a Pope and tell the governments that they need to shut down before you're supposed to be the spiritual advisor to all the world. Start fucking doing it, sir. Make them shut down the world. Or are you a part of Agenda 21? Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me. We have to shut down this globe, folks. We have to shut it down, and we have to shut it down now. Every, oh, JD, did I? Oh, JH, I'm sorry. I accidentally, oh, I timed out one of you. I timed you out. I do apologise. I do apologise. Uh, that wasn't meant to be, JH. I meant to uh, time out the idiot. Sorry, I've clicked on the wrong one. I do apologise, JH. Just let me fix that. Yeah, that was a mistake, JH. I'm very, very sorry. I was trying to time out the half wit. But, yeah, anybody in the Hunter Valley wants a really good watchdog? Can you hear them? They're the pups. That's the pups. They alert me to everything. The mum and dad don't even have their take, and they're having a holiday at the moment because the pups are doing all the fucking work. So they're good dogs. Yep, now there's definitely people out there now. So I'm going to do what a lot of people don't know that I can do. So bear with me, I'm going to be a sneaky prick and look out my window. And they can't even see that I'm looking out my window. The dogs are barking at something. I'm going to find out what the fuck they're barking at. Sorry, take a couple of seconds, folks. People being idiots, wandering around. But those little pups that you can hear, those little pups that you can hear, they're trained watchdogs, 16 weeks old. Mum and Dad taught them. If you have a breed dogs, you should let Mum and Dad raise them for a little bit. You actually get better dogs. And you can sell them for more too. But those of you out there, that think this is a fucking joke. Dead said, if you were in front of me, I'd tell you to bend over so I could kick you up the fucking ass. You're an idiot. This is so real. For God's sake, doctors are threatening to throw themselves out of windows. I have friends that are doctors. It's amazing. This thing, ARDS, is pneumonia. What pneumonia does to you, right? Because the SARS turns into, gives you pneumonia, right? Because, oh, that's right, it's, is it SARS? No, it's, yes, it is, it's SARS. We've already had this, it's mutated. And if it mutates it again, it could kill more of us. If we, and I've got to go, and, you know, just hang on a second. Hang on, Chaz, can you just hang on one second? I just have to mute something. I'm actually online, so I've just got to mute the microphone. Bear with me. Okay, and it's muted. Sorry, folks, I'm got to talk to my sister.
Sorry, that was just my sister. Um, unfortunately, I've got to ring her back after this, um, so I'm not going to be able to talk too much longer. I've got to find out when I can go and view the body. Um, so, um, yeah, she was just checking up to make sure I was, I was doing okay, because she knows it's pretty hard. And I think it's pretty hard on her. So after the stream, I'll give her a call. But I love your shows either way. I know you watch me streams. I think that's why she rang. But the thing is, if we don't stop this in its tracks, folks, we're going to die and it's going to kill so many fucking people. I don't want anybody else to die. I don't want a single person to die anymore. So I'm going to ask you to start talking about it between yourselves. We need to shut the world down. We really do. Do you believe... Okay, now I'm going to tell you again. The virus can live on a surface now. We know now for 17 days. It's official, 17 days. So one of those days of the buffer has already been used up. The virus will gestate in a person from 5 to 14 days. So we had a 10-day buffer to the end of it. As I said, we've already used one of those days of the 16, because 16 and 14 is 30. You had 10 days as a buffer. We've already used one of those buffer days up. We will be able to find and isolate the virus. This is what hospitals do. We need to flatten the curve to stop that curve going all the way through the roof. And yet, yeah, martial law kills, you're blocked. There are so many different things out there, folks. This, that's the, that's the graph I was looking for. It's rising and rising and rising, and it's going straight up. It's going to get straighter. This is how these things work. They get straighter and go higher before they fall down. By July, that is expected to be a straight line up. The death rate will be so great that no one's going to know what hit them. See, people didn't believe that the Great Depression was going to be a Great Depression, and it happened. The Spanish flu was believed, oh, it'll die down, it'll die down, then everybody got sick because no one had the way of communicating this sort of knowledge, solutions and things like that. This will work, people, but it will only work if we do this. And please translate this in any language that you speak. Please translate it. Even me asking to please translate it so they can translate it as well. This message needs to get to every man, woman and child on the face of this planet. We need to shut down Earth. We need to close Earth's borders to anybody. We need, and I'm talking about the space station, we need to make sure they're fed and they can last up there. They're going to have to quarantine themselves for 40 days. They're not going to be able to go into certain areas of that spacecraft. They're going to have to let the, the virus die. They're going to have to disinfect and everything. If anybody has gone up there since the virus started, yeah, they're going to have to do it as well. But hopefully they've been up there long enough we would have found it by now if they had it up there. But they're going to have to quarantine. They're not going to be able to come home while this is going on. I'm praying they've got enough food to get through it. Because if we don't do this, folks, your family could die. Your mum could die. Your brother could die. Everybody could die. We need to stop the virus. We truly, truly need to stop it. I don't want to see another more death out there. And if this is the only way to stop it, why don't we try it? We don't need the government to say, yes, well, we, don't, we just don't go to fucking work. But essential services, yes, you will have to go to work. The police, the army, you're going to have to work and you're going to have to isolate yourself from your family while you do it. The government is going to have to think up ways to keep you separated. You, they're going to have to accommodate you so that we the people can survive because if we don't now we could all die I reckon when they lock nursing homes down 
that the nurses and nurses should be given one of those spare rooms around the nursing home or one of the units around the nursing home so the nurses can be close so they don't have to go and risk their family's lives during this crisis. We have to take extraordinary measures to save our world. If we don't take these extraordinary measures, we could all die. People thought I was nuts for putting all this security on the house. People thought I was nuts for spending so much money on temperature control. I knew I was getting old. I knew I'd have to protect myself. So I took all those precautions. I spent 20, 10, no, what was it 10, 12? About 12, just, just over 10 grand. So I think close to 11, maybe, maybe a bit more on roller shutters that I can open and still see out, but no one can see in. That I can open and get fresh air. No one can get in because there's security shutters as well. They're also thermal control. You add them to my house and they're thermatically controlled. See, I've been preparing for this all, man, ever since I've got my house. I've been preparing for it. You can't do this sort of thing in a rental property, but you can when it's your home. And that's what I've been doing. I've been prepping for this. I bought a stack of shelving so that if this ever happened, that I could rack the shelving up. I could make my house more accessible and set up to grow veg. Put them near the window, because I've got windows that can just open up. All those veg will get enough sunlight to survive. I'm only growing vegetables that will grow in shade because they'll be in bright light for a few hours and they'll be in shade for the rest of the day. So they're the type of vegetables that I'm going to grow in there. I can do this if I have to. Don't need fancy lights, I just open a fucking window. But I can put, I've worked it out, I can set up five shelves next to the window to grow cabbage, lettuce, a few other items that will grow in the shade, will grow in the cold. And it will grow in basic sunlight. Easy, just put that near the window. I've thought about these things. Have you? This is the problem, no one has. But we need to shut down. But if you've got a garden or a yard, go out there and get your pitchfork out and start digging the fucking thing while you are in isolation now. Start now. Don't wait. Start now. Get ready. It's like it says in the Bible that those were invited to the wedding and forgot their lamp. I can't remember the exact scripture right at the moment. But those that don't fill their lampstands are left behind. We need to fill our lampstands, folks, and we need to build our arcs. We need to build our arcs now. Our arcs are our yards and our homes or our apartments. We have to lock it down from other people, right? You have to make sure that you've got fresh air coming in. You've got to make sure your windows and everything have got fresh air coming in, right? In an apartment building, but then shut your door and make sure nothing comes in. Make sure the only stuff coming in is coming in from the outside. It's not airborne yet, so we're right. We can do that. Make sure you've got a, a screening thing just in case someone above you coughs and there's a wind and it blows it in your window, so you make sure you've got a screen. We have to take these extraordinary measures, folks, because if we don't take these extraordinary measures, we could all die. We truly could die. I don't want to see any of you die. Because that death toll is going to grow much greater by July. The sickness infection rate. And it can infect everybody. It's not just the old anymore. It's affecting every age group. No one is immune. I, everybody thought they were. But it's not now. 20 year olds are dying. 30 year olds are dying. 40 year olds. 50, 60, 70. Every age group. 10 year olds and now got it. Their immune systems are a little bit stronger than ours, but it can even overtake their systems now. We know that. This is a deadly virus and it's soon going to, by July, it will reach plague precaution, proportions. Plague proportions. By July. If we don't act now, we have to shut the world down, folks. 
we really truly have to shut down earth so that every man, woman and child has a chance of survival. Our governments are not going to do it. We the people must do it. Us, not them. So please spread this video, share it with everybody, copy it, paste it on your channels. Just when you paste it on your channels, put the description because there's links in that description that are needed. So please, please do this. Make it easier and let's flatten that curve for the doctors. Let's put this virus on its ass. Let's make sure that this virus doesn't affect anybody else. And I thank you, all of my subscribers and all of my viewers over the time that I have been here. I thank you very much. You're my friends. Some of you are my advisors even sometimes. Jarrett, yeah, you're my rock. But those of you out there need to realize, what the, who, who deleted all Terry's messages? You deleted messages. Who's deleting Terry's messages? What the hell? Did I accidentally put Terry in time out? No. Did I put you in time out, Terry? Uh-oh, I've done it again. Sorry, Terry. I do apologise. That's my fault. Ah, oh, damn. Can you comment again, Terry? Hey, you can comment again. I apologise, darling. I didn't mean... To I was trying to put someone in timeout. I've take, put you in timeout. I'm sorry. Sorry, darling. I do apologise. Sun's come out. It's getting hot. I got my sister to talk to or work at a time to go and see my to see my mum tomorrow. We've got to do it in... We can't just all turn up at once. We've got to book a time to go and see mum. We've got no family we can talk to while we're there. That's scary. This is really real, folks. It's very real. I love you all. And now I've got to work out how I'm going to say goodbye to me mum. So I'll see you all later. And yeah, thank you for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe because if you want updates on the coronavirus, that's all you're going to get for a few days and, or a few months until this is over. Or until we shut the world down, especially until we shut the world down. Don't forget to click that little bell so you get notified. Yeah, I'm almost in tears because I'm thinking about mum again. So thank you very much, everybody. If I don't get to see you ever again, you've been great. You're my friends. You really are. All my subscribers, you've always been my friends. And as I said, some of you are my best friends. Some of you are my rock. But you're all my friends. So if I don't make it through, thanks. I love you all. See you later.